Hi there, welcome back. Dynamic Zoom in DaVinci Resolve is a great feature. I have another video showing the use of dynamic zoom controls in the edit page. You can find the link below in the description. But it lacks the option of custom easing curve controls, so I created an effect called Flex Zoom, which allows you to customize the motion curves and more. The link to the macro settings file is in the description, you can try it out in your project. In the effects panel, double click my Flex Zoom, which applies the effect to the selected clip in the timeline. By default, we get a zoom out animation. If we change the clip duration, the animation will be adjusted automatically, either faster or slower to match the length of the clip. Go to the Effects tab in the Inspector. We can use these parameters to adjust the zoom settings. Check the Invert option, and the transform is now changed to zoom in. The edit mode allows us to define the starting and ending area in the viewer without running the actual transforming process. Go to the viewer, turn on the fusion overlay. The two boxes in the viewer represent the size and position of the starting and ending of the zoom animation. Since we can easily turn on and turn off the invert option and swap the effect between zoom in and zoom out, we don't really need to distinguish between the start and end regions. We can drag the corners or edges to change the size, or drag the center control to move the position. We can also use the parameters in the inspector to make the adjustments. Disable the edit mode, play the clip. The clip now transforms as defined by the settings. The curve control is set to linear as default. In the drop-down list, select Easing, two parameters are revealed underneath, that allow us to choose the in and out ease curve from a list of predefined curve settings. These are the in and out curves defined by these easing presets, we can control how the animation starts and ends using in and out options. For example, set the out curve to bounce, and we get a zoom animation with a bouncing effect. If we set the in curve to bounce and out to none, we get a bounce effect at the beginning of the zooming. Using these presets, we can achieve nice and smooth animations with just simple clicks. If we check the mirror option, the animation will run forward and return to the starting area after reaching the end. In this case the animation is running twice as fast, because the second half is used for the reverse animation. Enabling the motion blur will give us a more realistic transforming appearance, but of course it will take some time to render the result. When we change the curve option to custom, it opens a mini spline editor. We can modify the curve to anything we want, such as adding more control points. And we get some bouncing back and forth effect like this. We can also drag the point handles to smooth the curve. Or right click and choose the actions from the pop-up menu. For example, smooth the points. The animation looks much smoother now. If we want to reset the curve to the default linear settings, we can choose the reset command from the right-click context menu. Please note that the keyboard shortcuts listed in the pop-up menu are not working in this mini spline editor. We can control drag a point to duplicate the point or shift drag a point to restrict the change at one direction only. Or use the in and out fields to edit the current point. If we set the curve to something like this, the image will zoom to the target area, hold the position for a while, transform back to the starting point, and remain there for the rest of the clip duration.
If we often need to add some zoom animations like this, customizing the curve will become tedious and difficult to control the timing. To address this, we can apply the flex zoom effect on adjustment clips and get the same result with only a few clicks. Drag the adjustment clip to the track above the clip. Trim it to one second. Double click the flex zoom effect to apply the effect. Adjust the size and position of the ending area. For the demo, let's set the out easing curve to expo. Turn off the edit mode. Check the invert option to switch to zoom in effect. Alt drag the adjustment clip to duplicate two copies. Uncheck the invert options for the both new clips. Adjust the length if needed. Check the static zoom for the second one, which will hold at the target position. That's it, we now have the animation on the clip to zoom in, hold, and zoom out. If needed, we can easily change the timing and position where animation starts and ends. We can also save the adjustment clip with predefined flex zoom settings to a power bin for future reuse. For example, I saved one called Zoom to Inspector in one of my power bins. Drag it to the timeline of a new tutorial, align it to the place where I want to zoom into the inspector. Alt drag to make two copies. Similar to what we did earlier, uncheck the invert options. Check the static zoom for the middle clip. Adjust the position and duration. In no time I've set the clip to zoom into the inspector, stay for some time, and zoom out to full screen once I'm done with the inspector section. OK, today I demonstrate the use of this flex zoom effect in the edit page. Next time I will make another video, as a Fusion tutorial, to show you how to create the effect in the Fusion page. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.